An environment that provided a very different challenge compared to what we'd achieved with the forest burnover scene in episode one was the Malakuta wharf scene in episode six. The first part of which had already been filmed on location. The scene was to transition from a smoke-filled blood-red sky to breaking daylight as people looked on, something that would be extremely difficult to achieve in the field. While not difficult for us to accomplish in studio with the dream screen, we didn't have the space for a full-sized wharf. We would need to come up with a way of replicating the location in a confined space. We visited the region and photographed and scanned the wharf and surrounds. From this, we recreated the location as a CG model. A small section of wharf was constructed in the studio, and to this we would add a digital extension. The tracking system allowing the camera to see the environment with parallax would make the extension always appear joined to its real-life counterpart. The location filming had the wharf crowded with people, so we would also need to crowd our digital extension. Our partners at Track Lab had motion captured people acting as if they were stuck on a wharf and created a number of avatars that would populate this virtual extension. It was interesting to watch the expressions on the faces of the extras as they stepped onto the wharf and studio for the first time. As we were capturing the final image with DreamScreen, it could be quickly edited on set with the Malakuta footage, making it easy for us to adjust the wall to create an exact match. Giving the producers peace of mind that there would not be any hiccups in post-production matching the two elements. This scene shows that the technology can work just as well in conjunction with location footage as it can on its own. It means that producers can capture their establishing shots out in the field and then shoot the more refined detail in the studio with perfectly matched and repeatable environments on the dream screen.